The four-day summit has been a vibrant conversation of the stakeholders from Africa and beyond on a renewed dedication to shaping a connected, inclusive, and more prosperous Africa. This year's theme, Shaping the Future of a Connected Africa, Unlocking Growth Beyond Connectivity, has framed our discussions, reminding us that digital transformation is not just about technology in infrastructure. It is about the diversity in people and meeting their needs. It is also about governments providing enabling policies and equitable partnerships that deliver value for everyone, leaving no one behind. Together, we have explored various dimensions of this transformation, from digital trade and e-commerce to innovative solutions for public health, education, among other sectors of the economy. As His Excellency President William Ruto noted, Africans are not just participants in the digital economy, they are the very designers of the current and future digital landscape. And this summit has represented the best and unique convergence of sectors, showcasing what is possible when we work together while connected. Let me congratulate the organizers and participants of this summit for anchoring the discussions of the African Union's Africa Digital Compact and the Africa Digital Economy Strategy underpinning Agenda 2063. These important frameworks reflect our collective vision and actionable plans that are shaping our approach to G digital integration. They are the basis of transforming Africa into a global hub of technology and innovation, riding on the demographic advantages, mineral wealth, green energy capacity, among other resources. Indeed, inclusive technology is no longer the future. It is the present. Our continent is not just designed and destined to be an endless consumer of digital innovations. Africa must make digital innovation a lifestyle. Our people, especially the youth, are a potent resource that we are investing in for our continent to be an equal player in the globe digital and innovation space, including in artificial intelligence. This underscores why this summit is timely and strategic in propelling the dream of Africa rising where no one is left behind. Cultivating and strengthening partnerships in developing and enhancing the digital infrastructure of the continent places us on the path to overcoming various barriers. It also enables us to exploit the digital economy as the foremost opportunity for the youth to be job creators, not seekers. This is in addition to driving commerce under the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which has been ratified by 87% of the African states, effectively creating a market of over 1.2 billion people. Digital innovation is also a key enabler to addressing food insecurity, combating climate change, adding armed conflicts, among other challenges. Innovation facilitates development of industries besides improving quality of life through the various sectors as government embrace electronic service delivery for efficiency and effectiveness. That is why I'm excited that the summit is heavily represented by key government decision makers, implementers and influencers on enhancing skills of the civil service on unique technologies. What remains now is how we move from talking to action with concrete, measurable milestones achievable before the next Connected Summit. We must be measured by the value of the connectivity, how many businesses have been created, 
how many young Africans have access to meaningful and gainful opportunities, how value chains in agriculture, health or education transformation have been transformed. Cultivating and strengthening partnerships in developing and enhancing the digital infrastructure of the continent places us on the path to overcoming various barriers. It also enables us to exploit the digital economy as the foremost opportunity for the youth to be job creators, not seekers. This is in addition to driving commerce under the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement, which has been ratified by the 7% of the African states, effectively creating a market of over 1.2 billion people. Digital innovation is also a key enabler to addressing food insecurity, combating climate change, adding armed conflicts, among other challenges. Innovation facilitates development of industries besides improving quality of life through the various sectors as government embrace electronic service delivery for efficiency and effectiveness. That is why I'm excited that the summit is heavily represented by key government decision makers, implementers and influencers on enhancing skills of the civil service on unique technologies. What remains now is how we move from talking to action with concrete measurable milestones achievable before the next connected summit.